So here we are at the Megabus stop in Newcastle upon Tyne. Adam, are you excited? Really excited, Jack. Where are you sending me? Syria? Oh, oh that's not that bad. It's not Syria. Right, let's get this over with, shall we? No, whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry, no, wait, 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 wait. You can only open that upon your arrival at the destination. My tickets are in there. No, here you go. That's not the tickets. Birmingham. Birmingham. The second city. Six, seven hours away? It's not that bad. That's fine. What's yeah. in this? I can't tell. You've got to open that when you get there. Brilliant. Thanks, no, Jack. Worry. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, sorry. One more thing. You might need this as well. A torch. Ah, you'll find out. Right. Catch you in a bit. Have a good trip. Huge metal fans. So annoyed. Haven't eaten, just passed a McDonald's. Do you guys remember when McDonald's did a beef version of the McRib and like nobody bought it? Hopefully they've learned from their mistake. Just going over a bridge now, pretty exciting stuff. To be honest, that wasn't a very nice bridge at all. There were like lots of cracks in the steel that I could see. Broken bridges really annoy me. I just can't get over them wind turbines there. I don't have a joke, I'm just, just saying more wind turbines. You know what, this isn't actually too bad when these buses are empty. I mean, it's just a bus, isn't it? That envelope though. Manchester. So we've just arrived in Manchester. Uh, we got about three more hours ahead of us on the journey. Manchester, of course, home to the Stone Roses, the Smiths, Oasis. The other day I was in the office with Jack and he was getting really wound up with me and, and said, will you stop singing Wonderwall by Oasis, Adam? And I said, maybe. So we're around an hour away from Birmingham now. The sun is starting to set. My back is really starting to hurt. These seats are not kind. And I, I don't know how people vlog. People are looking at me as I'm doing this. I've got nothing to say. I'm sat on a bus. What? Why, why are you watching this? We have arrived in Birmingham. There is the bull ring, La Plaza de Toros. And I can't wait to get off this bus. What word starts with E, ends with E, and only has one letter in it? Envelope, hilarious stuff. Let's just get on with this. So I'm fairly sure the joke is gonna be that, hey, you have to go all the way back to Newcastle immediately, like you did with Amsterdam. Hello, losers. Loser. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your trip to Birmingham. Eight hours wasn't too bad, right? Unfortunately, your punishment isn't over yet. You'll be spending the night in beautiful Oldbury, just 15 miles outside of Birmingham city centre. Your booking confirmation is enclosed, and your should be waiting for you outside the coach station. Your what? Your should be waiting for you outside the coach station. Have fun. Jack and Sam. P.S. Your return Megabus leaves tomorrow at 6.05 a.m. P.P.S. The hotel you're staying in is voted the worst hotel in Britain with over 350 terrible reviews on TripAdvisor. P.P.S. Don't forget to bring us back a souvenir. Oh, well, that's... I wasn't... wasn't expecting that. That's, uh... Your what is outside? Taxi? Oh, what's the... Brilliant. So I just called Jack and he explained that the word that they did miss is taxi and the taxi has already left because the Megabus was 30 minutes late. So now I have to book my own taxi to the worst hotel in Britain. Fantastic. So is it in Oldbury? Is that the part? It's, yeah, Oldbury, but it's in Hagley Road between Hagley, just by the McDonald's. By the McDonald's? Uh, okay, yeah. so nice area? It's okay. Okay. Not the sort of place that tourists would go, I guess. No, it's a, it's a relaxed area. A relaxed area. That's good. I guess that's the McDonald's that it's um, yeah, it's, it's next to. Yeah, there's the hotel. It's it's a hotel above Big Man's Food. 
410. The whole place smells like pot noodle. Old Hill, Moldy Hill. So this is uh, this is promising. 410. Uh, oh, almost tripped that. There's a, there's a broken window there, obviously. Oh my god, all the, the floor tiles are loose. Oh, that's different. That's just just a sharpie on that one then. Brilliant. I'm gonna get killed here. And here we are. <laughs> so my room is 410. It's called Blackheath, but somebody has very creatively changed the name to Black Death. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh. I'm in. Oh, oh my god. I am going to die in here. Look at the bed! Oh my. Let me get some lights on. This is. I. I... Wow. Okay, so it is time for the room tour. So you come in and you turn left. There is some inoffensive but equally awful art there. Um, the, the light's all pretty normal. Obviously, the, the wallpaper is atrocious. And the cut that doesn't bother me at all. I'm not fussy when it comes to hotels, but some of these stains are concerning. Right, so in the in the cupboard here with the the, the light that of course doesn't work. Uh, we have uh, iron, an ironing board. Uh, we have a. We have that, it's a, some sort of lampshade, uh, it's bent to hell. And then we have, oh, I don't even know if I should be touching this. Uh, we have whatever that is, that's uh, some sort of some sort of sack or, no, it's a curtain, it's a curtain, sorry. Um, so we'll just put that, put that around there, put that over the four post bed. And then that's really classy, I'm like a Disney princess tonight. Uh, in here we also have, I mean, there's some horrible rag in the corner there. There's a knackered old iron and there's loads of uh, presumably broken coat hangers. And uh, yeah, this is all good. It's all wallpapered because why not, eh? Um, there is this door, which is really concerning me because there's got to be something on the other side of it. There's a there's a lock here. This is like Hugo living in the attic, right? There's going to be an Adam Pacitti behind this door that survives on fish heads. Uh, there's stains as uh, there's stains everywhere. Like this is why he's giving me the torch to look for stains. That's not a torch. That's a UV light. Of course it is. I'll have to wait for it to get dark to give this a go. Yeah, there we go. Um, there's this, which is, you know, in, in, in the right place. It's really nice. Let's see if there's a Bible or anything. No, just, <laughs> just some broken glass, obviously. And a laughing gas canister, because of, co of course there is. Of course there is. This is... They've done a good job finding this place. In here is... <laughs> it's, it's a bottle of Lambrini that's stuck. <laughs> so there's a, a bottle of Lambrini there. This, I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. That one's locked. Big body in there, there's nothing in that one. That one is also locked. Is there anything in there? I don't think so. There's a table, there's a TV, which is is on that wall. Which, there's nothing there. I'd have to sit on the ironing board. Like, it's not opposite the bed or anything like that. It's a TV facing absolutely nothing. I guess I could drag one of these chairs over. There are chairs over here. We'll get to the bed in a second. Uh, there's a, an old dirty chair with, that's blood. I mean, that is actually blood. That's blood on the chair, isn't it? That can't be anything else. Why is there blood? Oh, there's a there's a kettle. 
Of course, there's a kettle. Um, it has some water in it. There's a, a drawer full of dirty old water and tobacco. There are no mugs. There's no tea bags. There's, no, there's nothing to actually... I could just have some boiling water if I want that. The smell in here, by the way, is, is horrendous. Here's my view. Oh, that's beautiful. There's the police. That's handy. Um, McDonald's is just next door. You can't probably can't see out this window. No, um, there's no. Uh, but we're above um, that that kebab shop, basically. Yeah, this is it. There's uh, there's a, an amber tavern across the road. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Oh, it's hot in here. It's really hot in here. This is like a sauna. Is there a light switch? There's no lights, of course, there's got to be a light switch. Where's the light switch? Is there no light switch? No, oh there, what an idiot. Okay, that's all good. That, you know, this is, this is fine. This is actually fine. Uh, there's a, a, a white sink, there's a bath, there's a light in the shower. I mean, it's, let's have a look at the shower. The shower seems tap to work. Shower works fine-ish, yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem. We've got that uh, full of soap and shampoo or something like that. Oh, of course they haven't. There's there's piss in the, there's piss in the toilet. They, they haven't flushed. There's piss in the toilet that they haven't flushed. Oh, go to flush it. <laughs> There's no handle, it's just a screw. Oh, sorry for showing you guys piss, by the way, there. That's not nice. That's it. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bed up for the night, guys. Oh, this is comfortable. Sweet dreams. So I realise I'm taking a chance by laying on this bed without using the UV light on it. Um, but the curtains are really thin. There's no proper curtains, so I have to wait for it to go dark before I can use the UV light that Jack gave me to see if I am indeed laying in a man's spunk. Um, I've been here for like 15, 20 minutes now. I'm really bored already. There's nothing to do, obviously. The TV's over there facing that wall, so I can't use that. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to McDonald's, have some food, Another issue that I've just noticed um, when trying to leave my room to go to McDonald's is that the door doesn't actually lock at all. Pull it to, just push it back open. Pull it to, put it back open, you try the key in it to try and lock it. It's not that sort of lock. It's just permanently open. And on this side there's nothing, so I'm, I, when I'm in here, I can lock myself in. That's good. No, I can't, because there's nothing there. I literally can't lock the door. This is mental. 10 pounds off sunglasses. Well, you can. You guys can have that code. You're welcome. It's uh, starting to get dark now, um, so I'm just gonna go in, use the UV light, and then try and sleep, I guess. Right. I mean, this all looks clean. To be honest, it looks like it's fresh on. It's, I don't think anything's gonna really show up. Like it's white already, if there's other white substances on there. I mean, it looks, it looks fine. I get, we'll have a quick check on the mattress. Uh, okay. Well, let's have a quick look. Underside of the mattress. Oh God, oh, that's really heavy. Um, it's pretty much the same. It's nothing really. Oh, hello. Oh, you are joking. Is that fiber? Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> it's not all bad news because five pounds under the bed. <laughs> That's enough for. Another McDonald's, I guess. There we go, I'm having that, I'm keeping that, I deserve that. Right, it's half ten at night at the moment. I was trying to get some sleep. I don't know if you can hear what I'm hearing. There is either somebody watching very loud pornography, 
next door or a couple having very loud sex next door. You can't see me at all. There we go, that's better. UV light. So why would you come to this hotel of all hotels? Like this is a romantic place to be. Come on, honey. Enjoy the ambiance. This is beautiful. What are you do? Uh, I, I just want to sleep, wake up, get my mega bus home. Right, whoever is next door has been going for about 45 minutes now. Um, fair play, stamina and all that. But I don't want to be here anymore. The door not being able to be locked is really bothering me and the blood and everything. And I'm not normally a little bitch about these punishments. I've done everything that's been thrown my way. But you've seen the state of this place. I've had an idea. I've looked online. So there's a hotel in the city centre. It's 34 quid. I'm not going to spend my own money on that. That's not fair. This is my punishment. But that five pounds, I'm going to take that to a casino or a Labbrooks or something like that. If I can make up 34 quid from five pounds, then I'm going to book a nicer hotel. Uh, I say a nicer hotel, an actual hotel. I'm going to get on now and do it. Right, here's the score. I have found a casino. I've got five pounds. I'm going to put one pound on five different numbers on a video roulette machine. If any of those numbers comes up, I win 36 pounds. That's enough for a hotel room for the night. I don't have to go back to that hell hole. The numbers that I'm going to choose are 21, August 21st, when I was born, 30, my current age, 29, when I had my first kiss, 35, this year's WrestleMania and Green Zero because if that comes up and I haven't got it then I'm going to feel like a complete twat. Let's go. Here we go. Green Zero. I won. Actually, pissing one. Um, 20 kids watching. Uh, gambling is always the smart thing to do. Remember that. That's that's the lesson that you should take from this video. <laughs> oh god, this one hotel. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, is there any blood? Is there any blood? There's no blood. Hello, it's a kettle. It's some tea, it's some coffee, it's some milk kind of, and it's some cups. Check this out, okay? It's not just a door that locks. See, it's a door that if you don't lock it properly, wait for it. Good night, Jack and Sam, I win. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. You can follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Cultaholic. If you enjoy what we do here at Cultaholic, you can pledge to us on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.